In October of 2021, Cerevo lost a real treasure. Frank Allen, longtime owner and operator of Frank Allen's Market and Grill, passed away on October 29th at age 90. Mr. Allen opened Frank Allen's Market and Grill in 1953. Over the years, his market became a popular gathering place for generations. Mr. Allen was a father, a friend, a store owner, a champion of the area, an icon for visitors that were lucky enough to know that his market existed. We wanted to take a moment to say thanks to Frank and his family for making ours and no doubt millions of other visits to the Smokies just that much more special. Hi everyone, it's me Keegan, and me Casey, and Brittany, and Eric, and you're watching the Smoky Mountain Family and it is Suggestions Week and today we're at, per suggestion, we're at a Marathon gas station. <laughs> But that Marathon gas station has Frank Allen's Grill, and this is supposedly Dolly Parton's favorite place to get a burger. So we're going to go in and check it out. Oh, Let's... happy birthday, Dolly. Happy birthday, Dolly. Happy birthday. <laughs> Let's get it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The dog, onion rings. Yeah. Okay. It's the the dog, the chili, and the cheese and uh, chips. What do you think, Jay? It feels weird being in the gas station. Water. Feels weird being in a gas station. Yeah. I think it gives like Britney Spears paparazzi vibes before the conservatorship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> So it says that these are like the best burgers in the Voted best burger, burgers for 15 years. 15 and, years. They're like four, for, and they're like four dollars. We're gonna find out, aren't we? You got barbecue though, right? Same thing, it's a burger. <laughs> it's not the same thing. It's not it's the on same a thing bun, at all. Not even close. It's on a bun? No. Is a hot dog and a burger the same thing? No. They're both on buns. But the, what if it was a fish sandwich? Would it be the same thing then? Because it's on a bun? No. <laughs> Eric just realized he forgot to get a slaw dog. It's supposed to be Dolly's favorite. So he's gonna get that. I think someone requested to hear our conversations at the table. What yeah. I was about to bring up was on our way here, we were listening to Kanye and the game Easy. He literally said that he got through the car accident just to beat her new boyfriend's butt. Basically. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> What's the number one thing? This is our question. What's the number one thing? You want to do this year? I know. What's yours? New York. Y'all should have picked New York. You want to go to New York? What's yours? You want to go to Myrtle Beach? I'm just trying to go snow snowboarding. I think it's gonna. Uh, that's our next plan, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> We need though. Big it's a big, <laughs> it's a big ketchup. Uh oh, here it comes. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay, that still looks nice. What is this, this babe? Is the best barbecue in the world. Huh? Best bar. Oh, sweet baby Ray's. Yeah, you're right. You're right. This is the nacho dog, and it looks, it looks like a skyline creation. Yeah, it's got the. And I got onion rings. And then onion rings yeah. looking really good. And then I got a double burger. The onion, lemon, and mustard, and lettuce, and then there's barbecue. Keith's barbecue, which looks really good. These fries look good as well. All right, so we're going to chow down, and we'll let you know about it. 
I'm just gonna check in with y'all. These are amazing. Super crisp, fresh, good. You liking them? What's this one doing? I dropped the straw wrapper. She was under the table. I dropped the straw wrapper and I didn't want the grandma to pick it up. Oh, okay. Very nice. How you like yours thus far? Really good. You got into it? Yeah. You're gonna quit me to my ketchup pile. <laughs> what do we have? Ew. Dolly Parton the special. Dog. The slaw dog. Eric has potential to really like this. He likes coleslaw. I do. What's that? Is that chili? I need that too. Nah. Oh. It's like a huge bougie. I don't know if it's because yeah. like I was eating the burger and my dad was yeah. in that mindset or whatever, but I don't know. Oh, so you calling Dolly a lie? Dolly just has different tastes. She does. If you catch some of her interviews, they were like, so where'd you take your look from? She was like, well, there was this lady. And I was like, mama, who is that lady? And she was like, her mom said it was the town, you know town what? Tramp. Yeah, I actually patterned my look after what they called the town tramp in my hometown when I was a little girl. So beautiful. And everybody used to say, oh, she ain't nothing but trash. And I used to say, well, that's what I'm going to be when I grow up. What just happened? Jay, Jay, what happened? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, baby. He did that Where's on purpose. Look at Keegan's hole in her shirt. <laughs> it's the first day she wore it. All right, so that was Frank Frank Allen Grill. Frank Allen Grill. All right, so that was Frank Allen Marketing Grill. I want to jump in with the rating. So the total being $27 is the key component here with rating. It's Cheaper than McDonald's. It's a 10. Like if you're going to go to McDonald's or here, best believe you better come here. It's way better than McDonald's. I would say it's almost even with Mel's. Uh, that's what I kept comparing it to. I like this kind of food. This is my kind of food though. You know, like, um, I used to be really broke. <laughs> and I would have stuff like this, like the combinations that they came up with in here. Like, I could see why Dolly Parton likes this place. Knowing if you go watch interviews with her. Yeah, I could see this being a very her. I don't see Paula eating here, though. <laughs> I don't know. Paula she did, though. Here. Paula did eat here. Politicians eat here. This is a great price. If you come down here on a budget and you can have a, a story, have a good meal, want a great story, like, hey, Dolly Parton was here. Like, Paula Deen's been here. So many more people have been here. This is this is the best value. You wanted the best value restaurant here. It is yep. ten for me. What do you rate, King? A nine and a half. As, because my food was really good, but like I don't, I can't really say much about it just because I didn't eat like the cool things. They're like different and stuff. But I thought my food was really good and it was really cheap. Really cheap. Absolutely. All right, so Jay is washing up from where I spilled my drink on her. mad at you. Yeah, she rated it an eight though. Yeah. And um, I don't know, I just told the gentleman that uh, that rang us up at the end that from now on when we're up in this area and we want a quick bite to eat, like this is the spot. This is the spot. My burger was delicious. I can see very easily why. Um, I don't know when that sign was from, but I think it said the last 15 years they've been voted the best hamburger in Sevier County. I think it was 19. 19 years? Yeah. 19 years? So it's really, I mean, man, I, I can see why. I can see why. My burger was great. They make it fresh. You can watch it right there, which is really cool. It gives you like the old, um, <clears throat> the feel of like the old 50s style, like pull up to the bar, diner, diner yeah. type thing too. Um, so just, we found out a little bit about Frank Allen Grill. Uh, they've been in operation for almost 70 years. Uh, they were at a former location right down the street and then moved up here because of the, the, they needed some more size to, uh, to their eating area. <clears throat> but I just found out that they also sold to uh, Kenjo, which is the gas station place. So, but they said nothing's going to change, anything like that. Right here on, on Parkway, uh, coming down from Sevierville. So if you see this marathon station, it's not the one right across from Walmart. It's the one right before it if you're coming into town from I-40. Outdoor Adventures of the Smokies. Yeah, by, by Outdoor Adventures of the Smokies. This is where it's at. It's kind of hidden in here a little bit, but they do have a sign out front, but you got to watch for it. Man, if you're, in, if you're coming into town, you want a cheap, quick, easy meal that's really, really good, um, I would definitely suggest coming to Frank Allen's. Because if we were in the car and stopped and got snacks, 
we would have paid what that we just paid. That would have been that. <laughs> like, yeah. The well, price is ridiculous. Everything was, we was we came out last night. Uh, when I say last night, I mean like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. And was trying to find something, somewhere to eat. We couldn't find anywhere because everything was closed. It was Martin Luther King Jr. Day and the snow. That kind of closed people up a little early. So we ended up stopping at McDonald's on the way home. And we paid more than we just paid at McDonald's. Yeah. We paid more at McDonald's than we just paid here. So it's a really good spot. Definitely worth it. Uh, great value. Anybody else? Got anything? Anybody? Anybody? Jay is going out. He better sleep with one eye open. Yeah, she's mad. <laughs> she's done with you. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. How done are you a dad eye? No. On a scale of 1 to 10. You didn't mean He's, yo, you're 10. 10? 10. 10. Jason. <laughs>